Welcome to Utah State University's Vertebrate Paleontology course. My name is Benjamin Berger. In this lecture, we will quickly summarize the groups of Saurischian dinosaurs. With vertebrate paleontology, we spend more time on non-dinosaur fossils. But if you would like to learn more about dinosaur paleontology, you can link over to my Natural History of Dinosaur uh, class lectures right here, and uh, where I go into much greater detail on the various dinosaur fossils, if you want to check that out. In this video, we'll quickly provide a general overview of the Saurischian clade of dinosaurs, which include iconic theropods like Tyrannosaurus rex, and sauropods like Apatosaurus and Diplodocus. The Saurischian dinosaurs are called the lizard hip dinosaurs since they exhibit a pelvis in which the pubis projects forward, kind of like the condition found in living lizards. But beware that it is within this group that the birds arose, despite having a pelvis that looks more like a lizard. The Saurischian dinosaurs first arose during the Triassic, and the oldest dinosaurs belong within this clade of dinosaurs. Very early in their evolution, the group split into the primary plant-eating Protosauropoda and the primary meat-eating Theropoda. One of the Triassic Prosauropoda is Platyosaurus, which is a well-known fossil from the late Triassic of southern Germany, France, and Switzerland. The dinosaurs become secondarily quadrupedal, one of the first dinosaurs to return to walking on four legs. The skull features a large antorbital fenestra and two temporal openings, as well as peg-like serrated teeth in sockets. In the ankle, the astragalus is closely associated with the tibia, a more advanced ankle joint. Many of the Saurischian dinosaurs remained bipedal, called the theropoda, these include dinosaurs like Herrerasaurus, Allosaurus, and Trionosaurus. The Theropoda are grouped into various nested clades, starting with basal members from the late Triassic, like the medium-sized Herrerasaurus from South America and the smaller Coelophysis from North America. And during the Jurassic groups like the Ceratosauridae, the Megalosauridae, and the Allosauridae arose, all of which were medium to large size carnivorous dinosaurs. The Cretaceous is characterized by numerous groups evolving in isolation as the various continents became isolated from each other. In Africa and Europe, the large Spinosauridae family arose. This is a fish-eating group of dinosaurs. The Cretaceous theropods are very diverse, with some forms that switch to a herbivore diet, such as members of the Ornithomimidae, the Avarazosauridae, the Therazinosauridae, and the Ovaraptosauria, while others, like the Trinosauridae and Dromaeosauridae, became specialized for a diet of meat. The Dromaeosauridae family are a group of dinosaurs that are closely related to birds and includes a Velociraptor, which, unlike the movie's Jurassic Park and its sequels, was a coyote-sized dinosaur from the Gobi Desert that was covered in feathers. The Sauropoda morpha, which includes the Prosauropoda, and the Sauropoda were the really, really big dinosaurs, which grew to gigantic sizes during the late Jurassic until the end of the Cretaceous. One of the key adaptations that allowed these dinosaurs to become so large was their avian style of respiration with very pneumatized vertebrae, which were filled with lightweight air sacs. The large size allowed these plant-eating dinosaurs to escape predation by the ever-growing group of carnivorous dinosaurs. The sauropods lived until the end Cretaceous, although the zenith of their diversity was during the late Jurassic. The last sauropod in North America was the aptly named Alamosaurus. 
I feel horrible not being able to go into more detail with this incredible group of creatures, but you should be able to summarize the two groups of Saurischian dinosaurs, the Sauropoda morpha and the Theropoda, and be able to recognize members of each group. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to learn more about Utah State University's geology program, check out the website geology.usu.edu or my own website at benjaminslashburger.org. Links are found in the description below.